Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 23H2. And for June 2025, the update is KB5060999. And once the update is installed, because it is a compulsory mandatory update, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.5472 for Windows 11 23H2. Now, first of all, the update addresses security issues for Windows 11 23H2. And for this month, Microsoft has patched 37 vulnerabilities. So that's two more than Windows 10. And we get two critical, which is your highest rated vulnerability and 35 important. And the first critical vulnerability that's been patched is the same as Windows 10, which is listed as Windows Net Logon Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability. And the second critical vulnerability that's been patched is a remote code execution vulnerability. So 37 vulnerabilities patching two critical. So that is an important security update. Now over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, Microsoft has also mentioned that it's rolled out a graphics fix. Obviously they deemed that important enough to push that out with this update where the update addresses a graphics support issue that prevented some users from successfully connecting using remote desktop. So if you were experiencing that issue, according to Microsoft, that is fixed. And the update makes improvements to the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And those basically roll out with every Windows update. And the security update also includes improvements that were part of KB5058502, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out at the end of May. So if you didn't install that update, those improvements and features will be carried over into this update. Now, I have posted a video on 5058502, so go check that out. It'll be linked if you want more info, but a quick recap regarding some of the new improvements and features that did roll out. First of all, it adds the ability to remap the Copilot key. So if we head to settings, personalization, text input. If you have a Copilot key, you're able to remap that. So you can leave it at the default to open Copilot. You can set custom if you have other apps that are supported. You can set another app to be opened. Or as I've mentioned previously, you can set that to search. And you can use Win and C and that'll open up search instead of copilot. So basically, um, they've introduced the Win and C shortcut plus remapping ability for the copilot key if you do have one of those. And then speaking of copilot, if you have a copilot plus PC, it adds a feature called push to talk to copilot. Check the video out for more info. And if we head to settings, system, about. It now includes the new frequently asked question section in the settings. So it's basically questions that are answered for your average home user. I don't think your tech savvy person would find much use for this, but nonetheless, FAQs are now available in the settings about page. And the I'm just going to mention the next, the lock screen weather widget now supports customization in the EEA, which I think is a nice move. And in regards to Windows Share, this feature is still rolling out gradually. When you drag a local file from File Explorer or your desktop, a tray will appear at the top of your screen. Check the video out for more info. And then over and above that, um, it fixed some under the hood bug issues and so, so on. And there was a couple of extra goodies that were thrown in there as well. But the video will give you all the information you need. Just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. So that's our Latest patch user secured update for Windows 11 23H2 KB5060999. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.